Hello and welcome to Interpretpedia. If you're new here, my name is Rosa, I'm an interpreter, and in this video I'll be sharing with you some updates on how recent developments in the U.S. immigration system can be an opportunity for many of us to really make a difference in the current turmoil and advance our careers in the process. I don't mean to go into politics, but as many of you know, we are in the middle of a humanitarian and administrative crisis in the U.S. We are facing record numbers in terms of human displacement worldwide, and there is an unprecedented number of people who have fled or are fleeing their home countries to travel to the U.S. This has overloaded the immigration system, and because of this, there is a record backlog with millions of cases now pending. For obvious reasons, with that comes an increasing need for interpreters in this field. These proceedings, interviews, and hearings all center around individuals who for the most part are seeking to enter the country or have recently come to the country and are seeking some type of relief, so the vast majority of them do not speak English fluently. The resources available across the board are simply not enough and the lack of adequate interpretation and translation services only adds to this crisis. Almost five years ago, I officially ventured into this field and I remember how intimidating this was. At first, I wasn't sure I had enough experience or if the experience I had was even relevant. When I tried to get my first contract, I encountered several roadblocks because for different reasons, my application would fall through the cracks. If you want to learn more about that, you can check out this video. Then I finally met a recruiter who helped me and opened the door for me. But then I was faced with the reality that in order to make it all the way through and get my contract, I would have to go through a very intense and fast-paced training all on my own and pass several tests. Needless to say, I felt overwhelmed, at times even hopeless that I wasn't going to make it. But I persevered, I developed a system to study that to this date has served me very well to achieve other goals. So I am absolutely grateful for having this experience because it completely changed the course of my career. I won't lie, it's not all rainbows and butterflies. Some of the things we have to interpret can be difficult, some hearings can be long and emotionally charged, and team interpreting is not the norm, but there are ways and tools to overcome some of that. If you've been following me for a while, you know one of my mottos is sharing is caring, so I have designed a special program tailored to prospective candidates who want to venture into this field where I'll be offering support, guidance, practice resources, my best tips and tricks to ensure your success beyond the initial application process. And the best part is, this is absolutely free and exclusive if you become one of my referrals. Now for full disclosure, because let's be honest, there's no such a thing as a free meal, one of the major government contractors in this field has established a referral program. So if you are referred by me, I would of course get a referral bonus, which is what allowed me to set aside the time to dedicate to this program. But in turn, you would not only be able to take advantage of the resources that I would provide you at no cost, but you would also have peace of mind knowing that your application will be properly handled and most importantly, that you'll have access to and the guidance of a colleague like myself who has gone through the process and is still a practicing interpreter in the field. So you'll have that support system I wish I would have had to ensure your success. So if you are a US citizen or legal permanent resident and have at least one year of experience interpreting, including some experience interpreting in legal settings, this opportunity may be for you. And this goes for all of you, regardless of your languages of expertise. All languages are welcome. And in case you're thinking, oh, but I don't think I have any relevant experience, don't be so quick to rule yourself out. I thought the same thing back when I was in your situation and after getting some guidance in that regard, it turned out I had much more than the minimum experience required. I was just not fully aware of the many different things that actually count as experience. By the way, that's something else I could help with for my potential referrals. This is an independent contract opportunity, so you get to pick your own hours, make your own schedule, and the best part is that since things have changed so much since the pandemic, there are many opportunities for you to work from home, in person, or even to travel around the country if you are willing to. 
So check out the description box in this video to learn more about this opportunity and the added bonus that I'm offering exclusively to those who are referred by me. Now, I always love to share my experience and offer guidance to anyone, regardless of whether or not there's a referral program involved. So as I said in one of my first videos, and I still persist on that to this date, please reach out if you need to vent, if you need to ask questions, or if you're feeling a little lost. I know this career can be very lonely at times and we could all use a friend. So don't forget to check out the description box for more details. I look forward to reading your comments or your questions. And that was it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Adios.